Hi everyone, welcome to the Swift Arcade. I'm your host, Jonathan Rasmus. One of the things that iOS app development makes really easy for us is pluralization. How can we put up a message and have it say, your account is one day overdue, two days overview, or even three or four? Handling pluralization is a really convenient, important thing that sometimes we need to do in our app. And in this episode, I'm gonna show you how. Okay, so what we have here is a very simple application. It has a label, and I'd like to update that label and pluralize the message as I flip through this picker here. So when it's zero, I simply want it to say your account is overdue. As I move to one, I would like it to say your account is one day overdue. And as we move up to two and to three, I'd like it to pluralize and make that say three days instead of one day. So let's take a look at how we can do that really easily in Xcode without having to write a whole bunch of if statements. Okay, so here's the app. It's just a very simple view controller putting up a picker and a label. The key to making this all this work is creating this structure here called a localizable string dict. So the way you create that is in your project, you simply go uh, new file. And if you type the word string dict up here, that is gonna be a string dictionary we want to add one of those to our project and it has to have this name localizable strings dict. If we go take a look at that now, we can look at that as a plist basically in Xcode. And this is the format here of how we make it pluralize. We have a key, in this case overdue, which I'm gonna show you in the app. That's what we lock onto for an NS localizable string. And then here's all the different permutation, permutations of stays that we can have. We can have uh, zero days and have it say your account is overdue. One, in that case, it's going to just say one day. And then finally, other or multiple, you can see here how it's gonna pluralize. Now let's see how that looks in the app. So here's my view controller, just creating some views. Here's the data populating that picker. If we come down here, and we see what happens when someone changes this picker here. This is the delegate method that's gonna get called. And here's how we hook into the pluralization. We have a key value pair that is used from NS localized string. That's the key here that's gonna be read and displayed in localizable string dict here. So that key has to match. Then once we get that localized message, we format it. In this case, we can pass in the pluralized number, which is gonna be the number of days that our account is overdue. We will format that string and then present it here, and voila, it just kind of works. There's a couple things just to watch out for when you're creating these things. One is the configuration of this localizable strings dict. First of all, as I said, the name of this file has to be localizable. Here's the key that we used, overdue. And then you have to go in here and you have to configure your messages. So in this case, the variable I want to create or define, I've called at days. I then have to make that this attribute value over here days. And then in here, I also have to specify the D here, which is gonna be used in populating the message underneath here. So this is just some of the kind of formatting you have to go through to set that up. And then to call it and set that in your app, you can either do it as we described here using these three lines of code, localized or formatted, or there is a convenience routine where you can do it all as one like this. Apple does have some pretty good documentation on this. If you just Google localization iOS and you click on localization Apple developer, you'll see all the guidance they give on how to localize your app, do multiple languages, of which one part is pluralization, which we're talking about here today. And if you come down here, localize your app, you'll see a really nice walkthrough of all the different things you can do. One of them being pluralization, which you can see here, and then you'll see their official documentation on how to do what we just did. Okay, so that's it, just a short one for today. Hope you liked that. Do click like, do subscribe, and if you've got any other questions about localization or pluralization, be sure to drop a question down below, and I hope that works for you. Okay, take care everyone, happy holidays. We'll see you next time, bye-bye.